Okay, so I'm here at the McDonald's drive-thru and I'm waiting. And I'm about to get some french fries for my kid because he loves french fries and he doesn't get them that often, so I don't mind. But this mom and her two kids walk by me on their way to their car. And I mean, her shorts were so short that her butt cheeks were kind of hanging out as she walked. Now, let me say, hold on, it's my turn. Uh, can I get a medium fry and that's it? So as I was saying, she was well qualified to be wearing booty shorts, don't get me wrong. But you're out in public with your kids. Okay, I mean, a little bit of decency, is that? Like I said, she was qualified. However, the situation did not dictate ass falling out of shorts. There's a time and a place for everything. That's, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I only do it around the house. That's better. All right, yeah, I'm getting smoothies here at Tropical Smoothie. Okay, so I pull by and there's this chick, right? She's got this green and yellow hair, bright green and yellow. All right, but hey, do you boo-boo, right? So, so I'm looking at her and it's done really well and she has a really nice haircut and style with it. It looks kind of anime-ish, like she's a cosplayer or something, but it's done really well. And it got me thinking, if you're gonna do funky colors and shit to your hair, make it look good. Go to a professional. Get someone that knows what they're doing to put this stuff in your hair. Don't walk around looking all damn raggedy with this ugly ass, goofy looking hair. If you're gonna have goofy looking hair, take it from someone whose wife is a hairdresser. If you're gonna have weird shit in your hair, make it look good. That's all I'm trying to say. And I don't know if I'll be able to get through this drive through and then come around to get a shot of her because she was standing outside the coffee shop there. But I mean, it looked good. I'll give her that. Point is, you see all these people in Walmart or wherever that have this hair that is uh, some funky color, but they're trashy looking. It's just trashy. You having bright red hair not natural red, but just bright ass maroon or something. With your damn pajama pants on and your hair's all disheveled and look like you got just got beat with a, a thousand rocks in a burlap sack. It just, it looks stupid. Why did you do that to your hair? The rest of you ain't got nothing going on. And now don't get me wrong, I know I'm not Leonardo DiCaprio or whomever. I at least try to make myself look presentable. I'm not going out winning any, you know, GQ hottest man of the year, but you're not going to pass me on the street and go, Did you see what he was wearing? I don't know. That's just my thoughts on the matter. Girl was rocking some green hair, but it was done nice. That's two interesting things in Clio I've seen so far today. Maybe I need to go out on Saturdays more often. Look at this messy lawn. This lawn is messy, all right? It's got to go. It's time to mow. It's got to go. It's time to mow. Do we know? Mo? Need to weed eat too, but I don't know if I'm gonna get that crazy. I gotta get it in before it rains too. Good lord. Twenty minutes later. Whoa. <laughs> it loves him some chicka chicka boom boom. <laughs> nice pose. Okay, so I don't know if you could tell, but I mowed my lawn. And as I was mowing, I'm like, man, it's looking dark over there. It's looking dark over there. And I'm keeping mowing. I got the whole lawn mowed. I'm just done mowing the lawn. I'm up front and I got the air nozzle and I'm spraying all the all the grass off my mower because I like to keep my mower nice. And all of a sudden, 
it just starts downpouring. I mean, just torrential, no sprinkle first, no nothing, just starts downpouring. I throw the air hose down, I get on the mower, and I fire it up and I hurry up, put it away in the garage. I was like, I guess I'll blow the rest of it off later. And, uh, tent. And so, so I put the mower in the garage, but yeah, I mean, it was just, oh God, it was just torrential. So yeah, I got the whole yard mowed, okay? And I noticed something while I was mowing today. It seemed like I can't just, I can't mow in the now. I can't mow in the now. Because it always seems like in this yard, I'm mowing past tense. No, no, not funny, not funny. All right, first round of rain's done, but look over here, look at this. Look at this line of storms. Actually, that front. Hold on. Pointing straight at the, at the sunlight. Look at how fast that fronts. <laughs> that's. So, I mean, that's nasty looking there. That's about it. I'm gonna get inside before this thunderstorm starts storming on me thunderously with much thunder. All right, people don't send me stuff very often, but I had a buddy of mine who is in the Air Force, his name's Eddie. He sent me a little package of some goodies. So let's see what's in it, shall we? Bubble wrap. <laughs> well, I originally asked him to send me one of these. Got some waterproof notepads. Ooh, a big one, nice. Thank you for those. Some red chem sticks, some green chem sticks. A couple of aluminum locking carabiners. My wife will say, great, that's what you need more carabiners. Ooh, now these ones are money. They're linked carabiners. These are awesome, I love these. And last but certainly not least, Pigtail. These are generally used for uh, retaining oneself in the aircraft. My buddy here, he flies on CV-22s in the Air Force. I will definitely find some good use for all of this stuff. So this is what I asked him to send me. <laughs> and this is what he sent me. So it's really cool. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And... My son will love these, the chem sticks. He loves those. And bubble wrap. You can't not have bubble wrap. I'm excited about this. One thing I noticed is the ends of my videos just kind of seem to cut off. Okay, I, that's one thing I'm going to work on. I just want to let you guys know. Uh, I'm going to work on getting a good end. <laughs> If you will tell me I'm the only one that you love